Hey guys, and welcome back to Paints Place Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we defeated all the gym trainers in this gym, and now we're about to challenge the gym leader. So let's get this started. I'm Brawly, Duford's gym leader. I've been turned in the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough in the bitch. I did not mean to say that in the pitch black cave. <laughs> so you wanted to challenge me? Let's see what you you're made of. All right, so uh, now we're challenging the gym leader, Brawly. I like the little pun in there, Brawly. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, he's the fighting type gym leader, and he's gonna start off with a Machop. And we're gonna send out Carlos, and if the levels are off from the previous episode, what happened was I accidentally uh, loaded the save state uh, after I finished recording, because I accidentally had the same hotkeys for everything, so I had to redo it, and I got higher levels than I had previously, so yeah, like, Carlos and, uh, Need for Speed are both, like, higher levels than they were previously. But anyway, so, uh, let's, uh, let's start off with the Nature Power, see how that goes. And it turns into Swift, since we're in a normal area, with no grass or caves or anything. And he's gonna use a Bulk Up, which raises his attack and defense. Uh, we're not really doing that much damage, but then again, Need for Speed is... Hurt, I forgot to heal him before this battle. Yay me. I should have checked that before I started recording. Oh well. He's high enough level that he can, you know, survive. Plus, you know, I'll have Carlos out because I want him to, you know, get up to Need for Speed's level. And, uh... That did a lot of damage. Alright, so, uh... You know, I hadn't learned any different moves from the previous recording, so... You know, you didn't really miss anything. Oh, crap. Well, Carlos is down, so now it's time to need for speed. Uh, yeah, he, uh, need for speed doesn't know any different moves either. He still knows Mud Shot and Tackle and Water Gun and Bide, so... Uh, let's do Mud Shot, see how that goes. He's gonna use a Super Potion since his health is low. I might do the same. I should probably do the same, yeah. Up speed fell. Uh, yeah, that's the secondary effect of Mud Shot. Is not only does it you know attack, it also lowers the speed of the opposing Pokemon. So if you have a fast Pokemon that's you know getting in your way, it'll it's definitely helpful to have. Ooh, yeah, after I use Water Gun on him, I'm gonna use a Super Potion on him for speed. You got 301 experience, but since we're pretty much over leveled for this gym. Oh crap, uh, this meta type knows a, um, move, uh, I think it's Focus Punch? Uh, I believe that's what it is. But it's a two-turn move, so when you need to charge with the first move, but if you get hit during the charge-up state, it cancels the move. And, yeah, see, he's charging up the move, it's a very, very powerful attack. Yeah, see, it took out half my health. I mean, I'm over leveled. And uh, like I said, if you hit him, it cancels out his move. Lost his focus and couldn't move. See, so, that's pretty much the only move that Medita he'll have Meditate use. So you don't really need to worry as long as you, you know, land a hit each turn. Oh, well, I'm glad he use a potion that move, otherwise I'd be dead. But yeah, isn't this battle riveting? <laughs> yeah, sorry and I'm not, not all that entertaining yet. Like I said in the first part, I'm still, you know, learning how to, you know, be entertaining while doing a commentary at the same time. But anyway, so... And plus, it's not really... It's kind of hard to, uh, you know, make Pokemon battles exciting since it's turn-based, you know. But anyways, uh... So you might notice that the sound is much, much clearer from the previous parts, because, uh... I have a mic that is very... that is really good quality. And so, like, I'm able to, you know, talk clearly and adjust the sound to make it... Uh, less, like, staticky and buggy. And just all around a better... 
um, sound. <laughs> and so, you know, it's you know, I'll let the quality of the future episodes from here on. Come on, survive! Don't faint. I'm recording. Don't, don't you dare faint. I should use another super potion. Don't wanna. I'm embarrassing to lose to the gym leader during recording. Though I won't, I won't do any cuts if I like lose to like a boss, cause you know, no sense in that. Though with the elite four, I will like prior to uh, fighting them, I will do like a lot of off-screen training, cause there is a really big jump between you know all the trainers and the eighth gym leader and the uh, you know the elite four. Oh, that was very close. I really came unprepared for this fight. I should have given uh, me for spit in Ornberry. Oh well. Oh god, I was afraid it was gonna miss there. Oh no, I forgot to heal, and I lost. Oh my god. Oh, I can't believe I lost during recording. Oh well. That's what I get for being unprepared. So, uh, yeah, those are my <laughs> my within six episodes of recording into my let's plays, I've already lost <laughs> and died basically. So, uh, yeah, let's go and uh, you make better preparations for this battle now. So, um, uh, you have both Carlos and Need for Speed, uh, Orange Berries to hold. I'm an idiot. So yeah, this this part will probably just be the gym battle since I failed miserably. But like I said, I won't cut it out because then you know, I just I want to be as genuine as possible with my let's plays. I want to, you know, be like I don't want to just like cut out whenever I die. It's because then I feel like I'm just trying to impress y'all with, which I'm not. I'm not trying to impress y'all with my gaming skills. I'm because honestly, I'm just. I, I like to consider myself a hardcore gamer, but honestly, I'm just an average gamer at best. I'm not... I don't excel in any specific game. Uh, and I was back to this battle. So maybe we won't lose this time. We'll see. And that Orenberry came in very helpfully. Oh, this is going to be a back and forth thing. Ooh, I should switch Pokemon. Yeah. Yo, know, I'll, I'll speed up this fight. Not the whole fight, just like until I get to Makuhita again. Because that way, maybe I could get some more done in this part. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and keep my videos under 15 minutes, but with the previous parts, you know, it's kind of hard. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'll be watching the time more and see if I can, you know, do better with, uh, that. Ah, awesome. And we took out the... You know, both my Pokemon are crippled <laughs> in health. So I'm, uh... Who do I want to send out? I think I'll send out Carlos. And, uh, I'll do a Super Potion on him to start off. I should have gotten more Super Potions, too. Man, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm very unprepared for this battle for some reason. I'm use to focus. But, oh! Crap. I was not expecting him to one-hit KO. Carlos, I was maybe expecting to get another turn to heal uh, me for speed, but I guess not. So now he's going to use Focus Punch and take out half my health again. So, oh man. You know, this is, this is embarrassing to lose on screen like this. But yeah, so now we've beaten that. We're actually level 20 now, so maybe we'll have a better chance of uh, beating him. Foresight. Uh, that's re a really specific move, and I really have never used it. So I don't, I'm not going to give Need for Speed that, just because, I mean, there are very few Pokemon who try and raise its evasiveness. Unless there's a double there's a trainer who spans their double team, I, I don't plan on uh, using it. Anyway, so let's still start off with Mud Shot. Oh, half health. Sweet. Oh, of course, gonna have an Orange Berry or whatever kind of berry that was. Oh, 
Sweet, we took it out in one. We got a critical on it, so that's awesome. All right, so we got the gym badge and we got 1,900 yen for it. We we received the knuckle badge from Brawly. Awesome guys, with our a loss under our belt already. And now if we trade, if this, you know, with the ROM, can't really trade from other games, but uh, if we had the ability to trade, you know, any Pokemon up to level 30 will obey us. Because we have the badge now. We have enough badges to train them. <laughs> and we can use a flash outside of battle now. Uh, which uh, is pretty helpful. See, and now we got that. And we also got ATM. Let's go and look at that real quick. We got Bulk Up, which raises our attack and our defense for whatever Pokemon we use it on. And I don't really have a fully physical Pokemon yet. Though I do plan on getting one later on. But anyway, so, um... We defeated the gym leader. Whoa! It's turned out to... Max, let's get that. Your future is bright, too. Anyway, so uh, let's go and heal, and um, I think I could fit the. I might be able to fit the cave in here if I speed through it. Because I mean, there's no Pokemon I plan on catching in here, anyways. Uh, or should I say? Yeah, I think I'll save that for the next part. But I will fight these trainers in this part. So, yeah, these are both fishermen. This one's gonna have a tentacle. Oh yeah, and uh, since I'm on the grass, my uh, nature power is going to turn to Earthquake, so you know, I'm not grass, I'm on sand. Not grass. But uh, yeah, if it's on sand, it's going to use Earthquake, which is, well, you saw what it did there, one hit KO, that tentacle. Though one very powerful Pokemon, you know, it just goes to show how awesome it is. But look, now we're facing <laughs> Magikarp, so you can just absorb these and uh... You know, get some experience for uh, Carlos to get him to level 17, maybe. That'd be really nice. Come on. I love how the Magic Heart level 10 gave me 47 experience, but the level 7 Tentacool gave me 157. <laughs> Just like, making fun of the Magic Heart and how weak it is. But then again, it does turn into a gigantic sea snake dragon monster thing. And, uh, let's go and absorb this one. Yeah, we're level 17 now, so that's really awesome. And, uh... We defeated Fisherman Elliot. Oh, and, oh, and that's, this is one of the trainers that we can register in, so we could call him up later up on the game. And we can re-challenge him to a battle if we want to, and he'll have either evolved Pokemon or just, you know, more leveled up Pokemon. Which is always nice. Yeah, anyway, so, um, uh, y'all go and heal, and, uh, yeah, so in the next part, we'll, uh, take on this cave up here and see what's inside. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.